Now to some other local stories we're following for you on this Wednesday evening. Bottom of the barrel. Someone stole two bronze plaques from a historic grave in Providence. It belongs to one of the most celebrated black artists in this country. A reward is now being offered for the return of those plaques. ABC 6 News reporter Josh Kerman picks up the story from there. The two bronze plaques were removed from the grave of Edward Bannister, the first black man to win a major art prize in the U.S. in 1876, and one of the most well-known painters in Rhode Island sometime on Monday. Now, two local advocates are taking matters into their own hands. It was, it was an immediate um, galvanization of our community. Uh, it was not an issue uh, for any of the people who've committed funds, and, and more people want to um, assist. A $5,000 reward put out for the safe return of the plaques. Ray Rickman is one of the founders of Stages of Freedom, as well as a former state rep and secretary of state. He told us that even if the theft wasn't targeted, the timing is oddly specific. So this is the year of Edward Bannister. You finish talking about Lovecraft and Roger Williams, you know, we're about done. And uh, there are in the black community 20 people who are on Lovecraft's level and uh, in the white community, there are 300 people and nobody ever thinks about them. A statue of Bannister was put up just a few months ago at Market Square, and the team at Stages of Freedom says they're working on putting up a plaque for Christina Bannister, a known entrepreneur and abolitionist in her own right, up in May. No matter how this investigation goes, a plaque will go up at the gravestone. We're going to get back the brass for his grave, a uh, bronze for his grave, or we're going to put a new one there, and this will be done. No arrests have been made, and Providence police are still investigating. This is somebody in need of cash, but that's a problem, that somebody is so low in their resources that they would do this in a sacred ground. It, it really is, and, I'm, and this, is, this is not religious, but this is unholy. It really is. We shouldn't be doing this in America at this time. We just, and to the banisters, absolutely not. Josh Kerman, ABC 6 News.